I just want someone to to press him on it and give a specific reason why he was fired. You won't go out to Redskins Park today and press him on it. I won't. Actually, they're in Arizona. They're so in Arizona, that's right. It wouldn't the, make any sense for, for you to do for, that today. For the uh, GM meetings. So you have to uh, delay it to next week. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. uh, 800-636-1067. Did Bruce Allen say anything in this interview with J.P. Finley? I don't think there were any real revelations. Nothing. I mean, no, just, not that we've heard. He just talks, not in those clips. He just talks so infrequently, so when he is willing to talk... It makes headlines here in D.C. It just does. Always makes headlines. Yep. Even if he doesn't really say anything or yeah. doesn't give any new nuggets. He doesn't. It doesn't really make sense when he speaks. Right. But, you know, it's just, I just, I, nothing can go smoothly over in that building. No. They just can't. It's impossible for it to. That's not the dynamic in the front office at Redskins Park. For things to go smoothly, be professional, have a good structure to the organization. Man, I'm glad I don't have to root for that team. They're a nightmare. <laughs> they really They're are. They're a nightmare to root for on a yearly basis. Valdez, aren't you glad you don't have to root for that team? Yes. <laughs> hey, I, I have, because uh, McNally sat down with Bruce as well. Yeah. Um, the audio is not that great, but he kind of directly asked him if he was fired with cause. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I'll ask you this. You can answer it or not. Um, was was he fired for cause? Do you have... I, I wouldn't talk about that. And is, is there any... Um, disagreement between the two sides now that you've parted or is the relationship over and, and there's no, no nothing well, beyond that? Obviously we did it the first day of the new league year um, which we thought was the right day to go forward for the 2017 season and uh, once again I think I think we added some players that are going to help us this year so I'm proud of what the, the pro personnel staff did and I know the college guys are getting ready. It's basically the same answer as he gave J.P. Finley. B-Max now, interviewing him from inside a fountain. He gave everybody the same answer. Yeah. Yes. He stinks. <laughs> I, I tell you, I loathe so him. So while, while you were pooing, yeah. my question was, <laughs> Nature has, has Bruce ever given a specific answer? Has anybody at Redskins Park ever given a specific answer or a reason of why they fired Scott? Not on the record. No, they haven't. No. That's why I was, no. I, was, I was glad that some of the media members pressed him on and asked for a specific cause. Yeah. I was really surprised to see that hiring a new GM is not going swimmingly for the Redskins. A lot of people not interested in the position. Well, if you are, like, ascending the ladder and you want to have a real career, you don't come here. No. The only people that would come here at this point, this is how damaged the reputation is here in, in, in Washington. The only way you come here is if you've been blown out and you're like on the outside looking in, right? Or you feel like you're way, way underemployed, like you're a former GM that's like an assistant to somebody. Yeah, yeah. First, you know, first, job. first real job. You don't have final first say real here. GM job. No, no, I don't. I no, I don't think if you're on the rise you come here. I think you pass it. So even if you're an assistant general manager, you wait for to, a better opportunity. You wait because you're on the rise. Because careers oh, so come here to die. I think you okay, only but, come here if you've had the job before and now, like, you've been fired so many times, you're on the outside looking in, or you're just, like, somebody's assistant. Yeah. You're just, like, you're barely in the league. Those are the okay, guys right, that you can, can get. See. But not, but not maybe, guys maybe, on the rise. Maybe not a guy who has had interest from multiple teams. Yeah. But I would rather be a GM here and make that check than be an assistant to an assistant at another team and have to work my way any up to that organization. Who's desir- any guy who's desirable, the first thing he has to do when he walks walks through the door is look at Bruce Allen and say, can I get in writing that I have final control over the roster? Well, you're not gonna. And when he says no, you say, thanks for your time. Can you help? Thing, it doesn't matter what they say. Their word is meaningless. That's they why, they get, tell, that's why they, you get it in writing. They tell yeah. Mc, but they, it doesn't matter. They did that to McLuhan. They told McLuhan he had I final wonder, say. They told Shannon he had final say, and they all yeah. ran up against the same brick wall. They're just lying liars. They are liars. <laughs> it no doubt. doesn't matter what they say. They'll lie they to you. They're, literally, they are terrible people. <laughs> Bruce and Dan are terrible people. Forget about owners and general managers. They're, to their core, they're rotten people. <laughs> well, look, we've, we've seen it in the past, people that, you know, with nice names in the business – that are respected, right? They're not going to go over there. No, wouldn't even think twice about but it. But with Scott, yeah, I mean, Scott had issues with in San Francisco and in Seattle, and he had lost those jobs because of personal, right? And that's right. why he came here. Demons. That's he's a classic example. And who is just trying I, to get back? But I could in. also 
guy who's younger who wants to be a GM somewhere. I would wait because you come here to die. You will come here. It's not a great place to work, no doubt. It's not a great place to work, and you're, no one – Leaves here it with the great. It just hurts your reputation. It's a yeah. bad experience. But you do get paid. You definitely get paid. Yeah, you but you paid. gotta be. But you're gonna eventually get paid. If you're a hot prospect GM, you're gonna get paid. Yeah, I mean, if I'm a hot prospect and I know I can get another job somewhere just wait else, wait your time. But, wait your time. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see how they replace him.